Day drawings is an ongoing project that you can do at home, uh, you can do it while you're out and about. Um, it's really um, a nice way to have a spot and a place to draw and be creative in any capacity that you see fit um, to your situation or to your moment. Um, so I, I titled it Day Drawings um, just because, well, Day is my last name, <laughs> so I thought it was pretty um, clever and easy way to, to remember it. Um, but just like a drawing, a drawing a day, at least one drawing a day, um, is really beneficial to sort of keep your creativity up and your spirits up. Um, so yeah, um, I'll just sort of kind of show you what um, my sketchbook looks like. Um, it doesn't take really good paper. Um, I think you can do more with better paper. Um, you can use more materials with better paper. Um, but even just sort of simple copy paper does the job. Um, so really the, the sort of mantra for my day drawings is to simply draw things and make connections. Um, you can draw anything you want. Um, it doesn't have to fit a certain guideline or a standard. Um, just whatever sort of is in, in the books for that day, sort of whatever works for you. Um, so that's why it makes this project is um, suitable for all ages, from really young to, to an adult, um, and you just sort of draw what, um, what inspires you that day. Um, so a couple days ago, um, I saw my dying <laughs> flowers, and so I thought they were really beautiful, um, and I got new markers that day, so um, I decided to, to draw my flowers. Um, you can get a little bit more complex, um, or you can simplify things. Um, this one's pretty simplified. These are the new markers that I got that day, so I decided to do another drawing. Um, like I said, at least one drawing a day is really helpful. Um, it doesn't have to, to be very complex at all, um, just anything at all. So you can add color to it if you want, or you can simply just keep it black and white. Um, you can really allow yourself to have um, so much creative freedom in terms of how you lay out a sketchbook page. Um, it can take up both pages, it can take up one, perhaps it takes up just a half a page um, because you're not feeling a very large drawing that day. Um, There's really a, a place for no pressure with your art, but it's a nice way to keep all of your stuff organized and sort of create um, a collection of, of your artwork and, and your drawings um, and really just ideas in general. It's a good place for ideas. Um, so this is just my mail on the table. Um, again, nothing um, very important. Um, just the seemingly very mundane things are sometimes the, the most fun things to draw um, and really um, work out some ideas, um, either just technical ideas or maybe conceptual ideas, uh, whatever, whatever it is. So this is my shoes. They're just on the ground. Um, and so it got me to thinking about the importance of shoes. So I started journaling about my shoes a little bit. I think it's really important to be able to take the time to uh, sort of discover um, and find things in the you know simple objects in life too. Um, and really, this is your this is your time to sort of dissect and appreciate the things around you a little bit more. So um, doesn't like I said doesn't have to be too complicated. Um, I recommend maybe dating um, and signing your work um, even on the backside. That way you can look back and, and sort of see your progression or just sort of see your journal and see what was going on in that moment, in that time period, um, in that day. <laughs>